Okay, so welcome to this two bedroom laneway home. It is completely brand new. Okay, so this is your entry. And that's the way upstairs. And right on this side is the powder room. So it is a one and a half bath. Okay. So you have some space here for if you want to put your shoes. space down here oh and you have additional space right here okay so um, coming in here there's your kitchen okay so you have a really large size kitchen for those that loves to cook lots of cabinet space you can even probably use you know this part as more uh, storage for your cleaning items okay Organizing your files, you can um, put maybe your office supplies here. Um, so it is going to be completely brand new appliances. As you can see, there's none right now. And that's because um, as soon as the tenant moves in, there will be um, appliances that will be installed just in time for you to be the first person to use it. So it will be an electric stove. Okay, and then there's going to be a fridge here, of course. Looks like it's going to be a full-size one. Okay, and it is a double sink with a pull-out retractable faucet head, which is great. Um, great for if you need to, um, you know, wash those bigger items. And then right here, you have a, um, it's going to be your washer dryer. So it is in suite washer dryer. Okay. So this is kind of like your office space. You can um, use this for many different things. Okay. You can um, even make this into your uh, living room if you like, office. Um, there is a boiler room in here. Okay, so um, this is the boiler. So you will have your own hot water tank, so you don't have to worry about um, the hot water shared with other people. But yeah, this is the den. Okay, so I would think this is like a, a good office space. Um, you know, you can consider putting a TV in here. You know, you can put your sofa right here and then um, TV right there. Okay. Okay, so um, again, this is the entry. So this is also a living space as well. Okay. Uh, you can probably put your TV over here and then kind of a couch right here or even... Um, couch like right here or right here and then if you go upstairs so think of this layout as like a symmetrical layout right in front of me is a full bathroom stand-up shower okay vaulted ceiling space uh, this is the bedroom uh, you can definitely fit up to a single bed here so maybe you would put your bed kind of facing here and then you can even have some more space for some dresser or a, a table and then this is your um, closet It's not a really not a, not a full size closet. However, um, you know you, you do have additional space for if you want to hide your seasonal items like your uh, shoes, your jackets. 
or if you don't need the full two bedroom you could even use this as one of as a another living space like you can put um a couch here tv office if you are a, a artist you can even use this as a painting room okay um, and then this is the other one. So this is essentially the, the symmetrical layout for the other one. Okay, this is, closet is slightly shorter. So, um, yeah, again, you can put your uh, seasonal items down here. You can have a bed fit right here. So you can kind of look out to that way and even have an office table in this area. Okay. So it does look out to 29th Avenue. Okay. Um, so the heating here is electric, as you can see the electric baseboards. Um, it is energy efficient, so that will help you save on the bill. And each room has its own thermostat. Okay, so like for example, if you don't need one room as much as you usually do, you can turn one off so you can save on the bill. Uh, if you are living with a roommate, you can have one um, cooler than the other. So you guys don't have to butt heads about arguing about like who's too much, co uh, too much colder or warmer. Okay. So I'll just bring you right back down. And this is your entrance. It will be from the back. Uh, I believe this space could be yours for now. Okay. So this is looking out of the laneway. So you can see how tall it is. Okay. There you have it.